Hi and welcome. In this video, you will learn how to export table records of a SQL Server database to Excel sheet. In our previous video, I have given a demo on how to import data from Excel to SQL Server. If you haven't watched this video yet, I will leave a link in the description. You can watch it from there. And if you have visited my channel for the first time and not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon to get notified of the upcoming videos. Let us proceed with a demo. Here is my SQL Server instance. I have sample databases here. Let me take one of the database as an example. So I am taking my DB as an example. In this database, I have total four tables. So I want to export customer table data to my Excel sheet. First, let me see what are the contents present inside this table. I have total 20 rows, 20 records I have in this customer table. So I want to export these table results to the Excel sheet. Let's see how. Right click on your database. We have tasks and then export data. Once you click on export data, you will get your SQL Server import and export wizard. Click next to proceed. Here, select the data source. My data source is Microsoft SQL Server native client 11.0. Here, my server name is auto populated. If it is not populate, auto populated, you can enter the name or you can select from the drop down list. And I'm going with the Windows authentication and select your database. I'm going with my DB database and click next here select your destination. My destination is Microsoft Excel and browse the Excel path. I have already saved one Excel sheet here. This is a new Excel sheet I have created. This Excel sheet is empty. You can see it contains no data. So once I export data to this Excel sheet, I'll get another tab here. Let me show you. So here, browse your Excel path. This is my Excel sheet. Open. You can also create an Excel sheet, new Excel sheet from here. Just right click on this window and click new and you can create your Excel sheet from here. Okay, and click next, select the version and proceed next. Here you have two options, copy data from one or more tables or write a specific query for the data transfer. Select this first option if you want to export all the records from the existing table or if you want to write a specific SQL query. Uh, let us say you want to export top 100 rows or you have some T SQL script where you use inner joins and all. So in that case, you need to select this option and then you have to write your T SQL statement here. And only those qualified rows will be exported to the Excel sheet. Okay. So for now, I'm going with the first option itself. I'm going to export all the table records. Click next and uh, select the table. I want to export customer table. In the destination, if you want to change the table name, you can change customer underscore exported. Okay. You can edit mappings or you can preview the results here. So this is how it will look in your Excel sheet. Okay. So I'm okay with this preview going next and click next. Yes. I want to run immediately. Click next and finish. The execution was successful. Now let's check the Excel sheet. Here is my Excel sheet. Let me open. So you can see this is sheet one. This is my exported table records. I have all my 20 records here. 
that has been exported from my SQL Server database. So this is how we do it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. In our next video, we will see how to export these records using a batch file. That is going to be so interesting because anyone who has no knowledge on SQL Server can also export the results with just a click. Let's meet in our next video. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos.